How you doing, family? This is Chris Rowe with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news, family. Coming to you from uh, TMZ.com. And family, uh, it says, exclusive details, it says, Nicki Minaj Castle canceled BT gig after ugly tweet. Ugly tweet, BT apologized for unauthorized po uh, post. I don't want to hear that fucking unauthorized post because they know what the fuck they was doing. BT got mad. Because Nicki Minaj canceled her BT gig, and they got mad, and they posted an ugly tweet, um, trying to praise another black woman, and try to shame, and try to shame, uh, try to praise Cardi B, and shame on and poo poo on uh, Nicki Nicki Minaj just because she canceled her gig. But fam, I I want to I want to talk about this family because. People have to understand and realize we got to stop. I, I don't know. I best stop watching BT. I don't know the last time I watched BT, period. BET is not controlled by black people. I, I, I want to get this out. I want to get this out. They say black entertainment and shit like that. But BET is not controlled by black people. It is controlled by white people. They will continue to use you, use your music, use everything that you work hard for, and if you cancel for something that they had planned so they can make millions off of you, oh, they're going to try to trash you. But check this out, family. We're going to get into this article. It says, uh, 2.20 p.m., BET is making it clear the tweet Targeting Nicki Minaj was unauthorized. Get the fuck out of here. It was authorized. BET was in their feelings. They was in their feelings because Nicki canceled her gig. He, she canceled her gig. Says the network says BET loves Nicki Minaj. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Too late. Too late. Say we have supported her from the very beginning of her career and will continue to do so moving forward. Nikki has paved the way for so many performers and has solidified her place as one of the most powerful figures in music industry. The statement continues. Unfortunately, the respect we have for Nicki Minaj was violated by this post. Yeah, because your ass got caught. You got caught and then you try to delete the damn post. Get the fuck out of here. That's like somebody coming out saying something about you on Twitter and they say, oh, I'm sorry, I... I I apologize. That, that's not what I meant. That, that's what you meant. It was in your feelings because you canceled a gig with y'all. And you try to poo-poo her but praise, another, but praise another black woman. And see, this is the, the game that they do, family. They always try to put us against one another. You know what I'm saying? They always try to do that shit. They always do that shit. Or you, what you got to be on game. It says, uh, "Say we deep, we deeply apologize for the hurt, disappointment, and confusion that this post have caused. We are committed to doing everything we can to address the situation. Get the fuck out of here." BT also says we are also conducting an internal audit to assure these type of posts are not published again. Yeah, y'all ass got caught. We have apologized, sorry, family. We say we apologize to Nikki and her team. The posts have been removed, and we have taken additional appropriate action. We understand Nikki's position and look forward to continue our dialogue with her. Well, you lost her. She ain't, she will not be performing for y'all anytime soon, never again. Says finally, we apologize to all her fans. This should never should have never have happened. Too late for that. BT social media team thought it was a good idea to make fun. Of Nicki Minaj on Twitter when Cardi B won at the Grammys. Like I said, fam, they always try to put one female against another or one black man against another. That's, that's what they always do. And they create chaos, but they create headlines for them. You feel what I'm saying? This, this is how they get down. The Queen rapper announced Monday that she and her label, Young Money, will not be a part of the BET experience later this summer. Which is a concert series she and Cardi B were 
McCarty were booked at co-headline just days before the BT Awards in June. And you can see it right here. Say, Queen, Young Money will no longer be a part of BT Experience or Award Show. Love, Summer Tour, dates dropping soon. That's right. That's right. Let them motherfuckers know. Sources connect to Nikki tell us that she did, in fact, cancel the gig and direct response to BT Crash Joke. Crash Joke. And she made it quite clear with her follow-up tweets and see this this is what they do family this this is what they try to do and this would be t posted meanwhile nikki minaj is being dragged by her lace front and they post this you know about uh nikki you know trying to up uphold and praise cardi b say cardi b is the first solo female rapper to win best rap album and fans are weeping see this is how they do this is how they get down family this is how they fucking get down Put one out black woman against another black woman, and they, and they like doing that shit, creating chaos. People were putting BT on blast, saying they owed Nicki Minaj an apology since the comment was a low blow. Nicki seemed to agree, saying, "Meanwhile, BT is is being dragged by her lace front, adding a laughing emoji for good measure." It's unclear who, if any, at the network green lit the controversy tweet. But Nikki clearly doesn't care. We've reached out to BET for comment. Hold up. It said if Nikki and Young Money stick to the boycott, it is a big loss for BET. Yeah, they should boycott. And black people should boycott too because <laughs> BET never really did anything for us. It's controlled by white people because it would mean Lil Wayne also pulling out a BT Experience concert. Yeah. You recall Nicki and Cardi had a salty pass getting to it at uh, New York, I guess, FW party last September. But both women said they were squashing the beef. It sounds like Nicki just pissed about the jab at her, not so much about the celebration of Cardi. So, it's Nicki Minaj. But this is how they get down, family. This is how these motherfuckers get down. BET is always known for doing shit like this. Creating headlines. Putting one, one black person against another. You feel what I'm saying? But family, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll put the link down in the description below. Smash the like button. I'll be back with another one, family.